I just want to point out that one of the many advantages to having cats is you don't have to give them baths yes. like you do with dogs, which leads to the story we're going to do right now. But what would scientists do if not for dogs? <laughs> we have the story for you. Jeremy Hubbard does. Come on. You've probably never pondered the physics of that bath time annoyance. It's a shaking wet dog, but David who has? This is uh, my wife's um, ex-boyfriend's gift to her. After bathing Jerry the Poodle, he wondered how fast do dogs, and other mammals for that matter, have to shake to get dry? How hard do they work? So with a team of researchers, some sopping critters, and a slow motion camera, he found out. This wasn't exactly easy to do. The scientists had to get up close and personal to soaking wet animals and endure a drenching. After studying everything from mice to rats to dogs and even bears, they discovered something interesting. Size matters. Small animals have to shake their tails off in order to get dry. A mouse, he rotates his body faster than the eye can see, nearly 30 times a second, trying to repel water. An average-sized dog, on the other hand, he'd have to shake just five times per second to get just as dry. And why exactly do animals shake in the first place? Because water particles cling to their fur, and to get rid of the water, they have to start gyrating. And this is the same principle that a washing machine works. And imagine you're a drop on one of these clothes, you, there's these centripetal forces that tend to pull you out. And so, well, these dogs, they work on the same principle, but they have to choose a speed that's high enough to get rid of the drops. So what exactly is the point? Researchers say they hope their discoveries make people appreciate how animals have learned to adapt. And I hope that, at least as a team, we can come up with some really neat design for either a washing machine or something else we haven't thought of. Progress from the science of a soaked pooch for Good Morning America, Jeremy Hubbard, ABC News, New York.